Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah, I am a registered dietitian, and today I wanna to talk about BMI. Does BMI actually matter? Do you need to be at a healthy BMI to actually be a healthy person? Why is BMI even used? I wanna talk about all of this and more, so let's get right into it. So BMI stands for body mass index, and it is a ratio of your height to weight. More specifically, it is your weight in kilograms divided by your height in meters squared. And there are certain ranges used to determine, based on this BMI, if your weight is healthy or not healthy. There's gonna be a lot of air quotes today used around the term healthy, unhealthy, overweight, obese, and I'll kind of explain that in a minute. But just get ready for a lot of air quotes. So currently BMI is what is used to diagnose someone with obesity or diagnose them with a healthy weight or being underweight. And there are certain ranges, I'll put them on the screen, of what the different classifications are. And you can see that a normal weight is anywhere from 18.4 to 24.9. So BMI was founded in the 1830s by a Belgian astronomer, statistician, mathematician, sociologist, and it was created to find what the average man should look like. Now big red flag there, we are not all men. So if you don't meet that normal BMI, that's probably okay because you may not be a normal man. Another issue I see with this is the fact that this method is over 200 years old. And despite a lot of us maybe saying it is pretty flawed, it's just very simple to use. I mean, it's literally just a ratio of height to weight. And so it's still being utilized almost 200 years later. But we now know that there are many other ways to determine your health besides just the number on the scale compared to how tall you are. Another issue is this dude that made up BMI did not work in healthcare of any kind. And he had even said that BMI should not be used to determine the individual fatness of a person. But that's currently what it's being used for. You know those obesity maps that you might see when you watch like a documentary or if you're like me, becoming a dietitian, you learn about how obesity is just the worst thing in the world and they kind of slap those maps around to kind of prove a point. The way they assess obesity on those obesity maps is with BMI. And like we've already kind of concluded, and I'm gonna explain more, but BMI is pretty flawed. There's no way that every single person at the same height is meant to weigh the same. Not to mention that BMI and our weight in general does not take into account any other factors besides just what our mass is on this earth. It doesn't take into account how much of that mass is muscle versus body fat. It doesn't take into account what our lab values look like, which in my opinion, are a much better indicator of your health. The number on the scale doesn't know what you typically eat. You can eat a very nutritious diet and exercise regularly and still reside in a larger body that is obese based on BMI. Have you ever seen those like really jacked bodybuilder dudes who just have tons of muscle and a very, very low body fat percentage? Individuals who work for that body type are often considered obese based on BMI. You've likely heard before that muscle weighs more than fat and this explains why those who have large amounts of muscle would be considered obese based on BMI. But we also know to a certain degree, having increased muscle mass and decreased adipose tissue or fat mass is generally going to lead to improvements in your health. Now again, I wanna point out that it's to a degree. It's also not safe to have an extremely low body fat percentage either. There's a lot of nuances to this and I should have led with that, but I think we all knew that coming into it. <laughs> Let's go into a few of the other big glaring issues with BMI and why it doesn't actually determine if you're healthy or not. So like I had mentioned, the Belgian statistician, mathematician who created BMI, created it to figure out what the average man is. But much of the data that was used to conclude this was done on white European men. Hello, my name is Hannah and I am not a white European man. My healthy weight is likely going to look different from what a man's healthy weight would. Not to mention that different races have different body types. We cannot use this small sample size of white European men to determine the health parameters for every single person on this earth. Not even to mention genetics. So even all of those white European men are gonna have different body types because they likely didn't have the same parents. Another really big problem with BMI is it is often used to assume an individual's health purely based on their body size. And you can't just look at someone and know if they're healthy or not. The number on the scale is a very tiny piece of the puzzle in terms of what health is. 
I have heard countless stories from those who either work with me as a client or who message me on social media or put a comment on one of my posts saying how they have had an interaction with a healthcare provider who simply saw their BMI, a ratio of height to weight, and told them they need to lose weight without asking any other information about their dietary intake, their exercise habits, any of that. So let me say it again. You cannot just look at somebody and assume that you know anything about their health. You might wanna write that one down. BMI also sets unrealistic standards for what health should be. I have also heard many stories from those who work with me or are kind enough to comment on my social media or send me a message saying they have spent just years and years of their life being fixated on that number, that BMI, and not being satisfied until they get to that arbitrary number that would make them quote unquote a normal weight. And the really sad part is most of them tell me even when they get to that goal weight, they still don't feel happy. Happiness is so much deeper than just a number on the scale or the way your body looks. And something I always say too, is you cannot hate yourself into a thinner body. Even if your goal is to intentionally lose weight, you need to do that with love, compassion, respect, because even if you don't believe it, your body is working hard to take care of you no matter what size it is. Did you know that the BMI specifications literally changed in the 90s? The cutoff for being at a normal weight used to be higher than what it is, but in 1998, they lowered the normal category to below 25 which means that you could have gone to bed at a certain weight and then woke up the next day at the same weight and gone from being a normal weight to overweight just because the BMI changed. Not because your health actually changed, even though many who still abide by BMI would say that if you're overweight, you are automatically unhealthy. The fact that this can change overnight and put people in different categories just proves that it is not a good indicator of health. And lastly, one of my final reasons for why I dislike BMI and using it as a health assessment is I have heard many stories about medical professionals dismissing patients simply because of their weight or their BMI. Oftentimes I will hear stories such as, oh, if you just lost weight, this medical condition would go away. And so they are left untreated for whatever ailment they have simply because their medical professional told them that if they just lost weight, that would solve the problem. We can't know that for sure. There is simply a correlation between overweight and obesity, which again are defined by BMI, being a risk factor for increased risk of diseases. And correlation does not mean causation. So just because there is a correlation between overweight and obesity, and a certain disease, that does not mean that overweight and obesity caused said disease. You deserve to have your health conditions treated no matter what body size you are in. I have also heard countless stories of individuals avoiding going to their doctor because they know if they go, they will just be harped on about their weight. That is devastating. I am very hopeful that this dialogue is going to continue to change as more and more people begin to understand that our weight is not a direct indicator of our health. So to summarize, I do not think that BMI is a good indicator of health. Can it be a quick screening tool? Maybe, sure, it's cheap and easy, anyone can do it, but it should not be used to make any diagnoses or to dismiss care from a patient who has illnesses that may or may not be related to their weight. You can be in that overweight or obese category and still be a very healthy person. In fact, I would argue that being in the underweight category is often more dangerous. If you have any questions about BMI, please leave them down in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like it if you enjoyed it and you learned something, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.